Hello everyone, this is Adam Morris with LoneStarBall.com and I'm checking in with you with our very latest Lone Star Ball YouTube video update. Uh, well, the big news of the last week or so has been the promotion of one of the Rangers' top prospects, third baseman Mike Old. Uh, obviously, the fact that Mike Old is a third baseman and Adrian Beltre is a third baseman, a very good one who's not moving anytime soon, has complicated the situation with Old um, and his uh, promotion through the system. But the, the plan for the Rangers right now is that Old is going to play primarily first base against left-handed pitchers and also uh, get some time at DH and third base as well. Uh, here's what you need to know about Old. He was a supplemental first round pick from the 2010 draft with a, comp with a compensatory pick that the Rangers got for losing Marlon Byrd as a free agent to the Chicago Cubs. Uh, Old really established himself as a, a real top quality prospect in 2011. Uh, he was looking like he might be on pace to be the MVP of the high A. Uh, uh, Carolina League when he was playing with Myrtle Beach until he broke his collarbone in a collision at home plate that cost him a couple of months. He came back from that injury, continued to play well uh, through the end of the season, and then really impressed and turned some heads with his performance in the Arizona Fall League in the fall of 2011. Uh, Olt had spent until his promotion the entire 2012 season with AA Frisco where he was among the league leaders and OPS was among the all, uh, leaders in all of uh, professional baseball here in the United States and home runs. Uh, it was named to the all-star team in the Texas League and was one of the Rangers representatives of the Futures game. Uh, Olt's a right-handed hitter who is not going to be a big high average guy. He uh, does strike out quite a bit, but he also draws a lot of walks, uh, has a, a terrific power. He's somebody who is, is going to be a high walk, high, high home run guy, uh, middle of the order type hitter. Uh, somebody who I sometimes compare his offensive profile to is uh, somebody like Dan Ugla uh, with, the, with the Marlins. If you look at Ugla, he's somebody who generally hits 240 to 260 uh, with 150, 160, 170 strikeouts a year, but he also draws a lot of walks and hits for a lot of power, so he ends up being a very productive offensive player. Uh, Oltz, uh, along with his, his uh, offensive profile, Olt it gets really good grades for his defense at third base. He's considered to be somebody who has a potential gold glove winner at third base. Uh, very good defender. He's not somebody like Mark Teixeira who had to move to first base because really that was where he was going to likely end up anyway. Olt is somebody who uh, is going to be able to stay defensively at third base and be a plus defender there. Uh, now, the in terms of expectations for Olt, um, for the rest of the season, you know, I've seen a few people on Twitter, you know, that sort of thing, uh, ask me or ask others, you know, is Holt, is he somebody who could come up and be like Mike Trout for the Angels and put up huge numbers and really energize the team? And I mean, the reality is that's, that's not likely to happen. Uh, uh, there's, there's rarely do you see a Mike Trout ever. I mean, he's a once in a decade type player. Um, and I think even hoping for anything close to that from Olt is just being unrealistic. Uh, uh, what I think you want to look for for Olt for the rest of the year is for him to provide the Rangers with some depth, both off the bench and at the corner positions, for him to play against lefties, hit at the bottom of the order, provide some pop, draw some walks. Uh, right now he's got a, uh, I think a 579 OPS right now, but again, that's just in very limited playing time early on. Um, and I think what the Rangers want to do is A, get him, give him a chance to get his feet wet here, um, see if he's somebody who can be a viable option off the bench and uh, uh, once the playoffs come. But then number two, take a look at him and be able to see is this somebody who's going to be able to contribute to the 2013 team with uh, the possible departures of people like Josh Hamilton and Mike Napoli who are pending free agents. You know, the. The, the question really with Olt is, is he somebody who is going to have to move to first base because Adrian Beltre is already at third base? Is uh, he going to stay at third base and does Adrian Beltre move to first base? Does one of them get traded? You know, that's a nice problem to have is to say you've got two pr 
plus defenders at a premium defensive position, what are you going to do with them? It's going to be the same situation that the Rangers are going to have when Jerks and Profar is ready, um, when, given that they have Elvis Andrews at shortstop as well. So, you know, I think there's, there's a lot of possibilities in the future for Alt, um, but uh, I do think that he's somebody who, if he reaches his potential, could be an all-star caliber third baseman. And I think it's a really exciting time for Rangers fans to get to see him come in and get his feet wet and start showing the team what he can do. All right, well, that's all we've got right now for our latest Texas Rangers video update. Uh, be sure to check out Lone Star Ball for more news, info, stats, discussion, commentary. And be sure to subscribe to the Lone Star Ball YouTube channel for more video updates.